नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज एन एजुकेशनल वन टू प्रेजेंट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ हार्मोनिक्स एस हार्मोनिक्स रिलेट टू ए बांसुरी और इन जनरल टू एनी फ्लूट Why do you hear a sound or a note? It is because something is vibrating that is causing the sound. Parts within our body, including the brain, vibrate all the time, but we don't hear anything. This is because the sound is below the range of our ears' sensitivity. However, a creature with more sensitive ears will be able to detect the sound emanating within us. Now, a hummingbird is something you can hear because it is flapping its wings at a very fast rate. Similarly, you'll be able to hear a bee approaching you with its constant buzz, and you can certainly hear an annoying mosquito as it hovers around your ears. Here, a vena string is cut. I have placed a small piece of paper over the string so that you can see the string vibrations more clearly. this vibration you can definitely hear because the sound is within our audible range with the bansuri you can't see the vibrations because it is the column of air inside that is vibrating but you can certainly feel it by sensitively touching the mouth hole and that in the first open finger hole while you're blowing the vibrating column of air is causing the whole edges to vibrate sympathetically as sound is connected to vibrations sound is measured as the number of vibrations per second or frequency this measure is also known as hertz a sound at a frequency of 200 hertz is a sound that emanates from something you know it could be a string air column reed drum skin etc vibrating at the rate of 200 vibrations or cycles per second i'm going to take a bansuri here and produce what appears to be a single note with a single frequency your ear will tell you that i'm playing the note c the tuner app will confirm this and will further indicate that the note c is at a frequency between 261 hertz and 262 hertz or let's say 262 hertz or cycles per second However, is this the only note you're really hearing? The answer to this question is an emphatic no. If the sound was a single note at 262 hertz or, you know, at any frequency for that matter, the sound will be boring and plain, like that produced by frequency generators in a computer. The reason why the note from any musical instrument is so rich in tone is that what you are hearing is a combination of multiple notes. it is the varying combinations and weighted proportions of these multiple notes that give different instruments the different sounds there will be tonal differences even between two different bansuris even if both are tuned to the same pitch what you appear to hear is the dominant pitch this one frequency dominates over all the other notes that are simultaneously produced in a bansuri you can change the dominant note by blowing a little differently that is how you produce the first second and third octave of the same note the lowest note you can produce on a bansuri from any particular tone hole is called the fundamental harmonic when you produce this note the fundamental harmonic is the dominant pitch but i am also producing other pitches related to this fundamental harmonic which is what gives the sound its particular tonal color Now let us take a little deeper look into what are these other notes that are simultaneously produced and their relationships to the fundamental harmonic. First let me take a carbon fiber tube here with no finger holes but only a mouth hole and that is closed near the end close to the mouth hole. Let us see how many notes I can produce.
So six pretty clean notes. Let me take a longer carbon fiber tube, again, with only a blowhole or mouth hole and absolutely no finger holes. One. although it is increasingly getting difficult and one can just about make the last one. Now let us analyze the six notes a little deeper with the help of a tuner app that shows the dominant frequency of the notes played. For this I'm going to take the first carbon fiber that tube that I used in generating six harmonics. You'll see that the lowest note that I can produce, the first or fundamental harmonic, shows a frequency of around 349 hertz. The second lowest note that I can produce, the second harmonic, shows a frequency of around 697 hertz. The ratio of the second harmonic to the fundamental is 2 to 1. So if the fundamental is taken as sa, the second harmonic is the sa in the next higher octave. Basically double the frequency. That is how you produce the second octave in a bansuri. Now the third lowest note that I can produce, the third harmonic, you'll see showed a frequency of around 1046 hertz. The ratio of the third harmonic to the fundamental is 3 to 1. So if the fundamental is taken as sa, the third harmonic produces a ratio of 3 to 2 to the sa that is immediately below, which is the second harmonic. This note is the pa, or the panchamam. you'll see that the fourth lowest note that I can produce, the fourth harmonic, shows a frequency of around 1,396 Hz. The ratio of the fourth harmonic to the fundamental is 4 to 1. So if the fundamental is taken as sa, the fourth harmonic produces a ratio of 4 to 2 or 2 to 1 to the sa that is immediately below, which is the second harmonic. This note is the third octave sa. That is how you produce the third octave notes in a pansuri. The fifth note that I'm producing here is the fifth harmonic, and that is showing a frequency of around 1,744 Hz. The ratio of the fifth harmonic to the fundamental is 5 to 1. So if the fundamental is taken as sa, the fifth harmonic produces a ratio of 5 to 4 to the sa that is immediately below, which is the fourth harmonic. This note is the sudgha in the Hindustani style on the Antaraga in the Carnatic style. Okay. The sixth note that I am producing here, the sixth harmonic, shows a frequency of around 2099 Hz. The ratio of the sixth harmonic to the fundamental is 6 to 1. So if the fundamental is taken as sa, the fourth harmonic produces a ratio of 6 to 4, 3 to 2, to the sa that is immediately below the third harmonic. This note is the third octave, pa or panchama. Similarly, the seventh harmonic will produce a frequency ratio to sa of 7 over 4. 
the eighth will produce the fourth octave of sa, and the ninth harmonic will produce a frequency ratio of nine over eight to sa, which is the sud re in Hindustani style or the chatusriti re in the Carnatic style. It is this sequence of frequencies that produces the harmonic or just intonation scale used in Indian music, which is different to the equitempered scale of Western classical music. The difference between the two systems is why keyboard instruments typically tuned to an equitempered scale, including the harmonium, are unsuitable for playing Indian classical music. Knowledge of flute harmonics is very useful in many ways, including how the notes or swaras are developed for each rag. This will be further explored for many rags if there is sufficient interest in this. Harmonics can also be used to test a flute for how well it is made and whether the finger holes are correctly placed and the cork stopper is in the right place. More about this in a future video. If you found this video to be useful, please subscribe to this channel below for other instructional informative videos in the future regarding Bansuri and flutes.